All right, so we are in a sermon series called Victorious. See, I knew this was going to happen. I knew, so, I knew this was going to happen. I, <laughs> yeah. She got one down by her. Okay. Hello? Mike? Is it on? Okay. All right. Now, we all know it's going to be 10 years for Pastor Rick. I've only been here for seven of them. Yeah! I've only been here for seven. Me and my family came here off a whim. God met us in a bar. But it was our pastor's testimony that brought my family and I here. And throughout the last seven years, through the ups and downs, the hills, the valleys, and all the bull crap that you can smell, he's been there by our side. And... I can't thank you enough for stepping out into your calling for the past 10 years because the last seven have been great knowing you as my pastor and more so as my friend and family. Your family, we love you guys. And there's nobody I'd rather be under than Pastor Rick. But I'm not the only one there's a few more stories that need to be said. Mike, you got it? Good morning, Rick. Good morning, New Hope. Rick, I'm sorry that we uh, hijacked your sermon today. I know it was part of a series, but Sherry had come to me a few weeks ago and gave me a task. And this is what you have seen me running around the church with Christina and doing videos. And what's coming up next? very exciting to all of us. We had an overwhelming response and, uh, well, you have to see it yourself. Okay, so long story short, I just want to say happy anniversary. I know it's your 10th on the 28th, but we're celebrating today. Um, again, like I said, we had an overwhelming response of people. Um, I almost was not going to do a video because of myself, that is, because this video was so long that I had to cut and make it as short as possible. But. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I just want to let you know that I love you. I'm glad that I'm back in your life at New Hope again. I'm glad that you guys have accepted us back in. Um, I look forward to much more time to spend with the, the church and to get to know everybody better and, and uh, to be able to continue our friendship from years ago. Um, I remember way back in the day, I think you and I both were being dragged in by our, our wives kids to church um, but I've seen you grow so much I look at you today um, with the way you are it's different than it was 10 years ago I mean you were excellent back then but now you are and I've seen you many many times now you are solid in the Word of God and I'll tell you I couldn't I've been around the block many times to almost every church in this whole entire county, some of them in Allegheny County. And I have to tell you that you're the real deal. And I'm so happy to be back. We love you. Thanks. Wow, where do I begin? So we got together in 1992. Got married in 95, had Taylor at the end of 97. We had a lot of rough patches as a um, young married couple. 
And I remember going to a Bible study, I think it was in 2004, and just praying for you all the time, praying for you in church. And the Lord showed me way more than I expected. You are a prime example of somebody with a changed heart who lives for Christ. I'm proud to be your wife. I'm proud that you are my pastor. You can write a book just with all the uh, people's lives you touched, changes you made yourself. You're a very good father, you're a good husband, you're a great pastor. I'm just very proud of you. And I'm just excited to see what the Lord's gonna do in the next decade. Out of all the rough times we had in the 10 years and the fun times, I feel like the church is stronger than ever. Our faith is stronger than ever. And I'm looking forward to what he has in the next 10 years. I love you and thank you for being you. Hi, Rick. I just wanted to tell you, first of all, I love you, and I'm very proud of you, and congratulations on 10 years of service. Hi, Rick. You have accomplished so much in 10 years. I am so proud of you. I just can't wait to see how much more that you accomplish. Um, you've been serving this community, serving people, serving this church. I am really proud of everything that you have done. Thank you, we love you. Rick, the word the Lord gives you every Sunday morning is phenomenal. It's life changing. But what you've done for me is you've shown me unconditional love, patience, and trust. And for that, I thank you. I love you. And I'm really glad you're my pastor. Hi, Rick. What you've done for me it's just, I just want to thank you for all that you've done. For the times when I needed help, when I first started coming here, where you did everything to get me some money when I needed it, and the food that you offered, and then more importantly, what you did for me when I needed a place to stay, for giving me a room in the house, in the bridge. I can never repay what you've done for me. You basically took my life and gave me a chance to get back on my feet with a new job and ultimately being married here in this church. I can see Jesus in your eyes. Every time I look in your eyes, I can see Jesus and the Holy Spirit just comes through you. And I totally thank you for what you've done for me and Gigi and will continue to do for all of us. Thank you. Hi, Uncle Ricky. Happy 10 years. Um, I just wanted to say thank you um, for everything that you do for me and continue to do for me. Thank you for everything that you have done at the church and um, continue to do for so many other people. Um, I wanted to say, you know, thank you for your sermons on Sunday, your words of encouragement, um, you know, the continuous prayers, not only just coming from a pastor, but, you know, coming from a friend, um, you know, an uncle a father figure and you know especially when we have our one-on-one -on -one conversations um it truly means a lot you know i thank you for planting the seeds or planting seeds inside of me to where i can go and plant those same seeds let alone new seeds into other people and you know just spread god's word um you know i Honestly, don't know what I would do without you. 
you know, thank you for allowing me and showing me things differently and, um, you know, being able to be different and knowing that different is okay. Um, I, uh, I um, don't know what I would do without you. And I just, I thank God for you every day. Um, you know, you never go unnoticed. Um, and um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to say thank you and I can't wait for the years to come. I can't wait to watch you grow and to prosper. I can't wait to see what God has planned for you, um, you know, and to just also be unaware is even more exciting. <laughs> and that probably sounds a little, ah, but I just, I can't wait for that, you know. And um, I love you and I wish you nothing but the best and you're not leaving no time soon, so don't even think about it. Um, and, uh, excuse me, yeah, I just um, wanted to say thank you. And um, I will see you in five minutes and we can laugh and giggle at me. And uh, yeah, congrats. Ciao. Thank you, Pastor Wayne. I love you, Pastor Good morning, New Hope. I'm here to speak of our pastor, Rick Thornhill. I'm very blessed and honored to be speaking to everybody on his behalf. I'm very grateful and very blessed to be in this ministry. Him and his wife have helped me so much. I'm without words. No words can express the love and caring they've given me since I've been here. And I'm so blessed every day to be in this church. I'm just happy and glad that I was able to be part of this. Just to thank you, Rick, for all the love and caring you've given me and helped me over the years. No words can express the gratitude that I have for you, for all the things you've done for me and all the conversations we've had. And I'm just blessed and happy to be a part of this ministry. God bless and thank you. Pastor Rick, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart that you gave me shelter from the storm, and my storm is still coming, but it will be all right, because in coming to this church, I have felt the Holy Spirit touch me three different times, and I know that you didn't bring me here, God brought me here. But today I'm going to start on a uh, small journey that is going to help where I can help. So for that, I thank you very much. You're awesome. Pastor Rick, when I think of you, the word encouragement always comes to mind. Thank you for always encouraging me to pursue the dreams that God has placed in my heart. Thank you for welcoming me back with open arms and this church and you and your family are such a huge blessing in my life. And I just want to say thank you and actually thank you is not even enough. I'm so blessed to have you as my pastor, as we all are. Pastor Rick, thank you for showing me guidance, love, and support throughout the 10 years that you've been preaching. I love you. Hey, Pastor Rick. Um, first off, I want to say congratulations for 10 years. And our families have known each other for a long time. And just like any other family, we had our good times and our bad. And um, never in a million years did I ever think I would be sitting here um, talking. And I thank God by His grace that I'm able to sit here today and personally say that I'm very proud of you and it's amazing seeing how you've grown as a pastor. And I love you, I love your family, I love New Hope, 
and I can't wait to see what God has in store for us in our next season in life with our families. And again, I love you guys. Thanks. Born a new hope. Um, I am blessed that I found this church. And I'm happy that I met Pastor Rick. He's a good pastor and, and a loving father. Um, there's a lot of, it's a lot of things that I do want to say, but I have no words to, to put it. He's a, he's a great pastor. And when I cried into his arms, he, uh, he comforted me. And I just really appreciate him and all this work that he's doing and what, what God is doing for him. I don't, I don't have much else to say. I love you, Pastor Rick. Hey, Rick. I just wanted to thank you for all you've done and all you've been to me. I've known you for about four years now, um, and I've learned a lot from you. One of the things I, I like the best about learning from you is just watching you um, just be you and handle everyday uh, issues and problems. Uh, you've shown me what grace is, uh, certainly mercy. Um, and I'm very grateful for you know, the, the role you've played in my life has just been significant without even probably you knowing it. And uh, I thank you for all that. I just want to say I'm very grateful uh, to have you and call you as my friend. Um, and, you know, I wish all the best for you and for Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Um, but this is for you, Rick. Um, congratulations on 10 years. And uh, let's just keep going, brother. Love you, man. Hi, Pastor Rick. Um, I came here in June of 2013, so I've actually been here eight of the 10 years. Um, when I left my other church, I was a little bit apprehensive about, you know, switching churches, and I asked um, the Lord for a sign. And the last message I heard there was um, on the kingdom of God, and the first message I heard here from you was on the kingdom of God. And I'm like, okay, here's a man who hears from God. So. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I really appreciate you, um, the, and I also appreciate like, how you let the Holy Spirit take control, and you let the Holy Spirit lead the service instead of the other way around. And um, um, I think you've always had like insightful messages, but lately you've been speaking with such power. I just want to thank you for being our spiritual leader. Thank you, Pastor Rick. We love you. We love you. Congratulations for 10 years. We love you, Pastor Thank you for taking me to camp. Pastor, we just are so thankful and happy that we have this opportunity to, to thank you and for that you are becoming a part of our life. And uh, we just are so thankful for the messages that we have been receiving through you. And it's just so evident that you are a blessed vessel of God and the Holy Spirit is presenting these messages through you. We just thank you so much, Lord. And we promise to faithfully, every day, pray for you and your family. Thank you. Hi, Pastor Rick. First off, I wanted to tell you how grateful and thankful we are to have you as our pastor. You have changed mine and my family's life in ways I can't even express to you. Um, I remember about seven years ago, I met a girl, Taylor, at my job at the bank, and she said, I know this really cool pastor. You have to come to the church. He's awesome. He has a wonderful story. And that ultimately is what brought me here. And you are so amazing. We love you so much, and I'm forever grateful for you. Thank you so much. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm not sure what to say. Just kind of shooting from the hip here, but... Uh... I appreciate you always listening, no matter what the topic is or what the situation is or what day it is. Uh, we always uh, found a way to laugh, no matter what the topic was or subject matter. And uh, I appreciate your your good advice and uh, your godly wisdom. Uh, I'd almost given up on coming to church when I started coming here. But uh, coming here has really um, 
just giving me a lot of uh, renewed faith and um, renewed commitment, a lot of grounding, friends, and uh, just an overall church family that I really appreciate. So thanks for all you do and you continue to do. And uh, thanks for being there for me and uh, giving me advice when I needed it and just an ear to listen to and shoulder to lean on. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, Rick, I know I've known you for many, many years, Eric. So I remember the first time I heard you preach there behind that shaky wooden pulpit. Um, it, I know you've been my friend and my pastor for many years. And you've seen me and you've helped me through some of the worst times of my life. Dude, I, I know I love you. All right. Uh, and I'll tell you some of the stuff all the time. All right, we are very thankful to have you, and just and just hope you just take it, take it, rest a little bit. Let somebody else do something in the church every now and then. All right, love you. Hi, Pastor Rick. I just wanted to say it's been such an honor to to be under your leadership. And I just wanted to thank you for everything that um, you've done and your accomplishments. And uh, most of all, I thank you for just letting the power of the Holy Spirit flow in this place. And I just, uh, just say congratulations to you. And um, we all love you and we're all proud of you. Hey, Pastor Rick, so it's been 10 years and my family and I, we have been here for seven years out of those 10 years, and I can't even begin to express how grateful I am in your obedience to the calling on your life and the fact that you have never given up. Um, you have helped myself and my husband tremendously in our walk with Christ, and it has been amazing to even watch your growth as a pastor, and I look forward to many more years. Hey Rick, um, making the video here, but um, I mean, I'd tell you this to your face anyway. Um, it's an honor to be here. It really is. It'd be a part of the work that you are doing here, and it's just an honor to know you and your family and just the things that you're involved with. Because um, growing up, my view of pastors was destroyed. I, I spent, I don't know how long, looking down on pastors is because they were bloated and full of arrogance on what their calling was. But you've proved that consistently wrong every chance that you've been given to show otherwise. So I want to thank you for that because it's, um, it, no matter how this, my walk here turns out, I know I'll take the lessons I've learned here and the people I've met with me for the rest of my life. So um, just want to take the chance to say that um, yeah, thank you for everything. Hi, Pastor Rick. This is so exciting, and I'm so glad to be part of it uh, with everybody to, um, to honor you, to um, just appreciate the pastor that you are for us in this church and this town. Um, first, I, I heard a song the other day on the radio that I never heard before, and it was called first church of mercy and all through the song i thought about you and i thought about this church um i've only been coming here for a little over a year and from the first couple sundays i came in i just loved what i saw um i've been a resident here of ambridge for 48 years um i love ambridge i love the people of ambridge i love seeing God um, help the people, give the people truth and light. And you're part of that, and you're a big part of that. And I want to say thank you. I, um, I'm glad to be part of this church. And I want to thank you so much for trusting me, um, inviting me in on working on some of the ministries that have been on your heart. And I just appreciate you. And you are God's man. 
Good morning, New Hope Community Church and Pastor Rick Thornhill. This is Pastor Chuck coming to you live from Southern California where the weather is always good. No offense. Pastor Rick, I want to say first of all, congratulations on your 10 year anniversary. But before I even get into that, I want to I want to address the rest of the congregation there and tell you a little bit of something about Pastor Rick from my early days of meeting him. To say he was an infant Christian when I first met Pastor Rick, or should I say when I first met Rick, is to really put it mildly. When I first met him, he took it upon himself to teach me what you all know as Pittsburgh ease. Pastor Rick was so wonderful and so new to the Lord that he taught me such words as and Yes, he was definitely a little wet behind the ears. I was new at that time to being a senior pastor when I moved out to the Berg, as we call it. And my daily prayer at that time was, Lord, show me the diamond in the rough. Show me the usher that's not ushering. Show me the teacher that's not teaching. Show me the pastor's heart that hasn't been developed yet. That was my daily prayer as a new senior pastor of the church. And there were quite a few in those days that God would raise up. But in that time, God had just allowed a mentorship, a friendship, a brotherhood to develop with myself and Pastor Rick. As we became friends, I purposefully created ways to hang out with him. We would go to Pittsburgh Pirate Games where in between the innings, I would, I would sit and share with him the vision God had given me. And we sat there with Rick and myself and another gentleman, and yet Rick was the one who kept getting excited about the vision. Kept getting excited about the opportunity to see lives change. And I remember one day he told me, I just want to see Ambridge rise back up. I want to see God move through Ambridge and change this city to better than it's ever been. Rick began to serve as an usher for a little while. Then I challenged him to step up and oversee the ministry. And this, my friends, was a very interesting conversation. And I know Rick's getting a little worried about me saying it. So I talked to him about stepping up and overseeing the ministry. In the course of the conversation, he agreed to do it. And then when I said, okay, if we're gonna take this step, I gotta ask you a question. Are you still smoking pot? Let's just say this, he hung up the phone, called me back and started giving me scriptures as to why it was okay for him to smoke, considering God gave us the plant anyway. Well, I refuted that for a little while and the phone call ended again with Rick saying, you know what, forget about me leading, forget about me ushering, I'm not gonna do this. Hung up the phone. And I thought to myself, man, did I just lose Rick Thornhill? And then I thought, no, Lord, you showed me the diamond, but does he really have to be this rough? Less than 20 minutes later, I got a call from Rick. I'm assuming he came up with more scriptures, but he didn't. Seemed the Holy Spirit touched his heart, moved in ways I, I couldn't imagine, because he said, Pastor, I feel kind of ridiculous with that conversation. Can we just forget we ever had it? Rick, we forgot it up till now. From that day forward, Rick has never stopped moving towards the Lord. He has never stopped developing. He's never stopped growing. I've always said this, when a leader stops learning, he stops leading. Rick leads and he learns and he grows and he takes you all with him on his journey. I couldn't think of a better pastor to do what he's doing. I couldn't think of a better man to honor on his tenure. Later on in that same time frame as I was pastor and I challenged him to start speaking from the pulpit just to give announcements. And I remember the time I asked him to give a testimony. Sherry asked me why I was using Rick to speak from the pulpit so much. And I told her because it was to get him used 
to holding a microphone, to speaking in front of the public, but it was also done purposefully for Rick to see himself from that standpoint. Then I asked Rick to sit in on council meetings, just to observe, not to vote, not to, just to sit and see what happens. And that was met with a lot of different uh, opinions, let's say, from the council at that time and some of the elders. But I knew what God was doing. I knew what God was showing. I knew that God was developing this man and transforming him into the humble man of God he is. I knew that God was beginning to plant the cause of Christ in his heart and the cause of Christ for Ambridge in his heart. Finally, I think it must have been the second or third council meeting, Rick asked me himself, as we sat in my living room, which is now his living room, by the way, he asked me why I was using it to sit in those council meetings. And I simply said, Rick, it's because I want you to know how to run a council meeting when you're pastoring a church of your own. I didn't know it'd be this one, but Rick, I couldn't think of a better man to grab hold of the vision and continue growing what you've been doing there. Continuing to transform, transform lives. Every time I've gone back, it hasn't been enough and I will be back soon. But every time I've gone back, I've seen more lives transformed. I've seen more families reunited. I've seen more hope given into many hopeless situations. And Rick, I know, I know, what it takes for that to get done. I know it's just not messages you preach, but I can't think of a better preacher either. I know it's just not the counsel you give. It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that some people may not understand, but Rick, I know it. And I just wanna say as we get ready to, as you get ready to celebrate your tenure, I wish I could be there personally, but I'm kinda of stuck here in Southern California, making you a little jealous but that's okay. Rick, I love you. I love you. I couldn't be more proud of the man of God you have become. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. May God bless you. Happy anniversary, Pastor Rick. Keep up the good work. Sherry, keep lifting him up. You guys are all doing a great job out there. We'll see you soon. God bless you. We give him an a standing ovation, please. Yeah, can we can we give a round of applause for Pastor Rick this evening? Hey! We good? Hey, Pastor Rick, it's Jay, man. Um, happy ten year. Don't ever stop being you. Um, you're definitely the realest pastor I've ever met. Just keep being you and continue that journey that God has for you. I love you, man. Pastor Rick. <laughs> I think we've been here for about 10 years. The twins were little when we first started coming here. But I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have always been there for me no matter what. You've never given up on me, even though when I tried to give up on myself. You have always been right there. My spiritual leader, uh, my, my brother in Christ. My kids love you. I love you. They call you Uncle Ricky and Aunt Sherry. So, and plus you're Ariana's godparents. So that took a lot, you know, coming from where we were to where we are now to actually ask you guys. That was something that God truly put on our hearts. Thank you so much for everything that you do, not only for my family, but for this whole community. And that goes for Sherry also, because not only are you my pastor, she's my pastor too. So I thank both of you. Sherry, thank you for bringing this man of God to God. Thank you for hearing the calling. Keep doing what you're doing. Can't wait to see what the next 10 years do. And I just want to say one last thing. I don't know what to call you, my pastor, my brother, 
my father, my friend. I don't know what to call you because when we're together, I feel like we're like Beavis and Butthead or Men in Black because I don't know what we're like, you know. But honestly, I just want to thank you. Thank you, Pastor Rick, and thank you, Ricky, for just being a role model in my life, becoming my father when I didn't have a father, allowing me to see how to be a father, allowing me to see how you come in prepared, ready to, ready to rise up the church, ready to speak your word with fire and not stop. I'm up here today because of you. I, 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 I always told myself that I don't want to do this. This is, this is not me. I never want to be anything like this. I never want to be anything like anybody who's up here speaking and talking. But for years seeing you encourage, motivate, uplift churches, for years seeing you change lives, for years seeing people just getting healed by your word, changed by your word, it hit me in a different way. Last year, when, I, when, when that crazy situation happened, and you stood by my side, and you said, everything's going to be okay. I won't let nobody bother you. I won't let nobody say a word to you. I won't let anybody do anything to you because I am here for you. You show me a love that nobody ever showed me. You show me a compassion that nobody ever showed me. You show me a way to worship that I never knew how to worship. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, friend. Thank you for being the best God. You, every day you wake up, you say, Trey, take this day. I, 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 I come to you with stress. I come to you with hurt. You tell me it's going to be okay. And I look at you with something crazy because all my life, things were not okay. And for you to tell me things are going to be okay, it, it, it set something off in my head because I didn't understand. But I'm here today to say that thank you for telling me that everything was going to be okay because I'm here today praising the Lord and worshiping the Lord for you and for the things that you've changed in me. And I just want to say thank you. Oh. And before we end this service, guys, if we can just have Pastor Rick, if you can just come stand in the middle. And if you guys just want to all just come lay hands on our pastor and lay hands on him. And as he, and has, and as he starts this journey, it's been 10 years. 10 years, I'm telling you, I've seen a change in this church and within 10 years that I've never seen in my life. So if we can all just come and lay a hand over our pastor, our father, our friend, our brother. He's, he's, like, he's like no other. He's not like every other pastor. He doesn't set boundaries. He allows motion to move within this church, the spirit to move, the father to, spill, the, the father to fill this place, the father to make a way, the father to change. He is letting the Lord move. He is a... Woo. I just, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, bless this day, Lord. Lord, I just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing this pastor to take over this church. I thank you for bringing this man of God to this community, Lord. And I just thank you. I just thank you for the blessings that you're about to pour upon this church, this community, in the long run, Lord. I just put a special blessing upon Ricky as he continues to move forward, as he continues to push forward, as he continues to fight every battle. Yes. My favorite message is his is when he was saying, give me that mountain. Give me that mountain. Ever since then, he's been pushing at every door. Give me that. I want it, Lord. I need it. I want it, Lord. Your, your, your power is here. I want it, Lord. Lord, I just thank you just for just bringing this man of God to this church. As we get ready to worship on this last song, Lord, let us all congregate as a family. This isn't a friendship. This is family. Friends leave and go. No, we're here to stay. We're family. We're family. We're family. So, Father, I just, I, just, I just ask that you just come down right now over this, over this church, over these, over these people, over our pastor, and just uplift them and uplift them and rise them up and, 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 and turn them into something that, that we didn't expect, Lord. Just change the way that you're going to move within this church and within this community. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us worship. Don't leave, guys. Let us worship. Let us worship the Lord this morning because this is going to be great. Let us uplift our pastor. And I'm pretty sure he has something to say. I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure. So if we can all get ready to worship the Lord. Guys, we have lunch downstairs for everybody in this church. There's lunch, there's food, all free. Everything is to encourage and, and bless our pastor. I, I hope everybody can stay here and, 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 and fellowship with us downstairs in the hall for a great meal, a great time of service. But before we leave, if we can just worship and stand up, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just ask that you just come down right now. And allow us to just be able to worship in your name. 
and allow us just to be able to come out of our fear. So I, I don't do really well with this stuff, but I, I just want to thank each and every one of you. I don't know, my allergies are acting up, so my eyes are kind of watery. My throat's a little scratchy, must be some pollen in the air. But I, I just want to say I, I love you guys, and you know, it's just a matter of just being faithful to what God called me to do. And I'm not here for me, I'm here for you. So thank you guys so much.